Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my, hold up, oh god, retake. Um, today's video is going to be on the new NARS, I forget what it's called, I have the box right here. It's the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is what it looks like, it's kind of this foggy glass container, I would be super duper careful with this, it does break. Funny story actually, when I went into Sephora to get color matched for this foundation, the girl grabbed a foundation, she tried it on my skin, and she kind of had it at like the edge of that, you know, little color IQ table, and it dropped, and my heart shattered into tiny pieces along with the bottle. I was, oh my god, the saddest thing ever. A brand new bottle, I looked like it was probably only used once or twice because it barely had product in the pump. Be careful. I did get color matched to Punjab and this is medium one. Looks like this, well the box looks like this, not that you would care what the box looks like, but whatever. So this is NARS's new foundation. I have used this twice already just because I really like to test things before I do it in a video, which is why I never really call a lot of my videos are like foundation videos, first impressions, because they're not really first impressions. Um, I do like to use the product before I put it in a video and usually I do a video on them because I think they're worth it. I will never do a video on something that I do not like. So let's say I did buy this foundation and I put it on and I tried it and I didn't like it, I would not be sitting here doing a video. So you kind of already know my opinion on this. I did want to... This is every time. God, any day. People really need to stop setting fires in their house because this is crazy. So I have absolutely no face makeup on. I just have my eyes completed. I'm going to apply this. And I will tell you guys this much since I kind of already know my feelings about this product. Um, I do prefer it with a beauty blender. I feel like the beauty blender is just the best way to go with pretty much every single foundation I have. The brush can kind of make it look a little bit more on the cakey side and that's not a look that I'm going for. If that's something that you prefer then sure go ahead do you. NARS claims that just and I'm sorry my calendar is still on January. I always forget to like change it. They say that just one pump is enough to cover your entire face, which is true, but one pump for a more natural face, and this is definitely buildable coverage. Like, I can make this medium, I can make this full. I usually tend to go for more medium, which is like a pump and a half, or I can just do two pumps, but one pump does entirely cover your face now if you're not doing it right i feel like with the brush you definitely need more product because it doesn't distribute it evenly so that's one thing to notice it applies beautifully with your fingers absolutely love to use my fingers with this product just because i feel like your fingers kind of warm it up and it does really soak into your skin super nicely but for today i'm going to show you guys how it looks with a beauty blender with a brush, I did say it does look cakier, so I'm not going to do it like that. What I'm going to do first is obviously hydrate my skin. This is a luminous, luminous um, foundation. I don't feel like it's that luminous. I feel like it definitely does give some life to your skin. It doesn't make you look mad or anything like that, but I don't feel that it is the dewiest thing ever. And to prime my face, I'm just using the Too Faced Hangover... Um, RX Replenishing Face Primer. It looks like this. Love, love, love this stuff as of right now. And then I'm also going to take just a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus, which I just hauled because I needed a new one. Okay, why are you not spraying? Just need to like, add some moisture into my skin. I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to do a pump and a half. Yeah. I'm going to do a pump and a half. So here's one pump. I know. And before you use it, shake it up. 
like shake you want to shake this baby up don't do what i just did because it just came out completely separated it is a super liquidy foundation so you do need to shake it up a lot and it does say to shake it before you use it in the back as well so i'm gonna take one full pump it looks like that it's super runny it's super watery and i'm gonna do about another half so have that much product and you guys will see how far this goes I'm sorry for the noise outside. Kids just came out of school. Okay. This covers my face and more. And it does a really good job at covering redness on my face. I don't know if you guys can really see as of right now. But I do have redness in my skin. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I guess I have irritated skin or something, whatever. doesn't really matter why, um, but yeah, it does cover it. So that's all I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend this out. And this is something that you want to work with really fast because it does tend to set really quickly. I don't know if you guys can even see. It's kind of bright in here. Okay, I think this is a little better. So you don't want to leave it in your on your skin for too long because it will start to dry up I feel like this is one of the most natural foundations I own um I really really love this and it matches perfectly with my neck I don't know if you guys can really tell um but yeah it does match really nicely with my skin um I absolutely love it so like if you guys didn't notice at the beginning of this video I had the biggest pimple on my nose and it's, it's still there um, so I'm just gonna take just a little bit I'm not even doing a pump I'm just like adding a little pressure so I get like that much and I'm just going to add it to the places where I want just a little bit more coverage and that's it so that was, I want to say, closer to two pumps, and this is medium coverage. It's not light at all, but it's definitely not full coverage either. You can go full coverage if you want. If that's something that you like, then go ahead, do you boo. But for me, I don't like to have full coverage on a daily basis. Like, that's not my thing. If you are one who their face a lot throughout the day, um, I feel like you may not love this, you may like it maybe, possibly, but you may not love it. So it does kind of cling a little bit to dry patches, um, so I would say moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this right here. Hold on. I'm gonna try to be all up in your face. This right here, like, can you see the cracks on my nose and how it's clinging to it? Kind of gross, yes, I know. But, um, yeah, so be extra careful to moisturize in places that you tend to get dry. Um, awkwardly enough, it's not really clinging to my forehead, which is the place that I mostly get dry. Set my face today, I kind of rediscovered my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I feel like the NARS Translucent Powder was kind of washing me out, so I went with this one, which I have not used in like over six months. Um, it's just sitting in my collection, but have started using it. This is in Medium Plus, I'm using this huge Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm just going to dust this all over my face. It's not a heavy powder at all. It's actually really light. It doesn't add any coverage. It doesn't make you look cake face. It's just a way to set your foundation without it looking extra. So yeah, this is kind of what the foundation looks like and I really, really love it. It's very natural. I feel like this is something I would definitely use every single day. Um, clearly I don't do my makeup every single day just because it's kind of a hassle. I do work and I do go to school. So I don't wake up in the morning with the most energy ever. But I know there's a lot of people that do wake up with the energy to do their makeup. This is kind of what you get. I am going to finish up my makeup and I'll check in with you guys in I want to say maybe five hours, five 
four hours it does last up to eight hours I will say that and then you'll start to notice it kind of rubbing off a little bit but I don't usually wear my foundations for eight or more hours so I'll be back in a little bit hey guys so I'm back before I kind of get my day started um it's currently 324 so I'll be back around maybe like 6 30 7 o'clock kind of check in with you guys and then I'll I guess go on with my day um so this is kind of my foundation as it looks right now. Sorry, my eyebrows are a little cry. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I, like I said, it is something that I would wear every day. It's not something that I would kind of say for special occasions. Although it does look super beautiful, so you can do that if you want to. But this is kind of something I would um, go for on a daily basis it's very natural it does give me some glow to my skin it doesn't make me look completely dead and i don't feel like i need tons of highlighter to bring me back to life so yeah if you guys have any questions on what's on my face or if you would like a tutorial on this look then please let me know in the comments below i know i kind of went a little ham on the bronzer the blush and the contour yes i know girl and if you're wondering my lips are sore lip liner all over my lips with um, Lime Crime Cashmere Velveteen and just a little bit of the NYX Butter Gloss and Creme Brulee. I actually don't find it right now but have just a little bit of that on the center of my lips. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'll be back in a little bit and check in with you guys so you can kind of see how the foundation held up. So see you! Hey guys! Oh, that was my ghetto. Okay. So it is currently 6.42. I'm back to check in with you guys. Let me just tell you this. Obviously, it's not my first time wearing it. I absolutely love this foundation. Um, I am starting to get a little bit oily around this area. But that's okay. I tend to get oily throughout the day. It's not something that's like super surprising. But everything looks so great still intact i don't feel cakey i don't feel like i look cakey at all um but yeah i've had this on for a little bit over three hours now and it looks even better than when i first put it on but yeah as you'll see throughout the day well obviously i'm not going to show you guys because i'm actually going to take this off as of right now because my day is pretty much ended. Everything looks really great. I feel like my face looks really, really good. And I do have some texture problems on my skin, which is not part of, it's not like the foundation's fault. Like here, it looks cakey because I have texture problems, um, but it's definitely not the foundation. I feel like if you have flawless, flawless skin, this will look so amazing on you. I really love the way it looks on me and I don't have the most perfect skin ever. As you can see, I have a lot of texture going on, especially on my forehead as well. But I really, really love this foundation. I definitely recommend it. Um, I wouldn't say for you to go out and like purchase it. I would say try it first, like get a couple samples from Sephora, see how you like it, test it for a few days, and then decide whether it's worth getting, like, for you, or it's just something you rather pass on. That's pretty much it for this sort of review, I guess. Um, but yeah, like I said, I do really like it. This is something that I would reach for every single day. It's not something that I would wear for hours and hours at a time. For that, I think I'd rather opt for my Estee Lauder Double Wear or my Makeup Forever Foundation or even my YSL to Shade Clot. But definitely not this one. I do really like this though and I like what NARS tried to do this time and again you only need the slightest bit to cover your entire face but yeah I really really love this stuff um that's pretty much it um anyways thank you guys for watching so so much as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you've tried this please let me know how it's gone for you I'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye guys